let's end the football theme with the top 100 goals of the year 2015. So let's see some badass goals. And here the commentators is loser shit. Because again, I have to say the commentators that are not American or British tend to go crazy. And the other ones who are British and American are just seem bored out of their minds. Because they sound like they're like commentating in the golf sports. Like, he's kicking the ball. I can't hear anybody. Please, shut up everybody. Robin Williams did that joke way better. But anyways, let's do this shit. Top 100 goals of the year, 2015. I should have looked at the time because it's 19 minutes and my camera's gonna cut off because I was just talking there for quite a while. So I'm gonna cut this off in the, somewhere in the middle there. And come back to it, of course. Alejandro Dominguez. Συνεχίζει ο Τσόρι Ντομίγκες, εντυπωσιακή προσπάθεια, αφήνει πλέον δέκτημα ο Κουκουλάκης. Τσόρι Ντομίγκες, εγώ έτσι στο κόμμα! Θα του φτώχνει πάντα, πάντα το βέβαιο. Με πάντα από έτ, με καλαυκία! Ζαλέ, πόλου το σωστή μετιά, αλλά ο πρίς με γελίζατε! That guy is like just dancing with the ball. He's just kicking it and doing the dance, but in game. Oh! He almost got it too, but it went in. Ah, uh, this must be old, because, like, it's grainy. So it must be, like, from the 80s or 70s. But it didn't go in. How was that a celebration? Or did I miss it? Oh god, he's still going, what the fuck? Damn. After everybody just chasing after him, he still gets it in. I love it when that happens. Oh, nice. We now present to you the 1980s. Oh, Jesus, man, how many switches did you have to do here? Damn, that's awesome! The, the, the goalie's just thinking like, ah, oh, fuck. These goalies, man, they can fly, man. Good looking ball in for Agadella, side fly. Oh my god. World class. Well, that American guy, he was kind of excited. Garro, engancho Garro. Sigue Garro. Garro que va. Moreira, Aldana por adentro. Sigue el zurdo. La descarga para Viturro. A ver qué hace Viturro. Viturro para logro. No unies para Viturro. La evolución. Vente que va. Pégate al MC. Maseco, Maseco que le dio Maseco. Even when they talk fast. When Spanish people talk fast, I cannot understand them that much. It's kind of sad though, because I'm Spanish and hey, I grew up in here. And like when they speak extremely fast, it's all blurry. He's like, third generation. That's how we are. My parents can understand people talking fast, but when my stepdad talks fast to me, I'm looking at him like, what the fuck? And that's why there's always miscommunication between the two of us. He says one thing, I say to the other, and we both misunderstand each other. Oh, 
Luis Suárez, que se habilitó la posición para poder aprovechar ese esférico. Luis Suárez mismo, que ya está donde debe entrar. Oh, ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo me dices? ¿Cómo me dices? I understood that he said, like, come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. What? What just happened? Oh, change music. Okay. Baba Karta, Wally, how the hell do you say that name? Baba Karta, Sra Wally. Yes, money we got signed. Alonso! Alonso! Sounded like a Doctor Who thing. Michael. Pedro Rocha, Michael. Luan. Wallace, sai jogando com Nito. Sai no toque, é perigoso o Grêmio. Tem lançamento. Juliano, condição legal. Lá vem o Grêmio com Juliano na entrada da área. Ajeitou, faz um toque pro Douglas. Olha o gol! Vladimir Hernandez, so he's Russian and Cuban. I guess. <laughs> you know, like the goalie has to be shooting bricks when like they're that close and everyone's doing one thing a mile a minute. And he's trying his best not to get this goal in. You know what I love about the FIFA World Cup, though? Basically, in any kind of football match. Well, I don't really love it. It's kind of annoying at the same time. It's like when they fake pretend to be hurt. It's like, oh, he touched me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Give him a red card. Then he's up later. And he's all fine and shit. Fucking liars. I heard this one time when I went to see the game, it was my home country, Chile versus Brazil. It was going to be an insane, or no, it was Chile versus Argentina. It's going to be an insane match, and Argentinians were just faking the entire time, like falling down. He stops like, oh, my leg, my leg, my arm, my arm, and then later on they're just running fine. Oh, Rodrigo, he only needs one name. Bueno, lo va marcando Cervantes el centro de Juan Ramón de Golazo. Ah, British commentators already sound bored as fuck. Even when he's trying to be, trying to like be energetic. Did he say pinche colado? Did he say a fucking beast? What? I guess they can get away with swearing in another language. What about Brino? <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Oh, almost got it there. Marius Mahalachi. Looks like he just died. The goalie. 
Salta y se desequilibra el salto, cayó ahí Valde Arigalvo. Ojo el intento. Golazo, 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 golazo. A ver, no es Diego también. Golazo, 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 golazo. Grande situación de Lima. Atención a Salveo. Lima puede hacer el 4 a 0. Ya está dentro. Lima. They got a lot of people that like just one name, don't they? Jordi Calvavara. Calvavara. Sam Johnson, an easy name. Oh, the Hispanic commentators. The way they say his name is hilarious. It's like, oh, Sam Johnson. Sam Johnson. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here and we're back. Let's do this. We're only at 45 still. Wonder which beats number one. It's gotta be a good ass goal. Hello, Gerd I don't even know how to say that name. Damn his face. He, what the hell? Back in time. Goal. Jeski. Jeski. The crowd's also great in this. I love it when they just get way into it. Especially the Latino crowd, when they get into it, they go motherfucking crazy. You never been to a game until you went one to full of Latinos. We're just fucking crazy. And the funny thing is though, I went to one, and the people selling beer assumed we all didn't speak English for some reason. Even though Edmonton is known for having a lot of Hispanic people. So yeah, they come along, they have their beers, and they're yelling out, Salve! Which means beer. Cerveza! I'm just looking at them like racist fucks. And I can see what they're doing because, like, yeah, the first generation don't speak English and they go to these games and they have an awesome time. So, of course, when the someone yells out beer, the first generation are gonna go, like, hey, I want some beer, hey, give me some. I think he said, what a dumb fuck. It sounded like that. I don't know what language that was, though. Oh, dude, get a room. No, no. Bro, you're on live television. You're on live television. Show your feelings somewhere else, man. Save it for the wherever. It's all cool and shit, but man, you actually want to do that on live television? Have a fuck midfield? It's all cool towards you, man, but hell, nobody wants to see anybody have public and sit, have sex in public. Some people do, but hey, they're perverts. The people that want to watch people having sex in public, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's gonna suck, man. 
just put a goal in your own tent, in your own feet, in your own, what's the word, in your own team. It's gotta suck. Like that one coach that accidentally gave the goal to the other team. <laughs> just kicks it from midfield and goes in. Or the water boy in that one game who just like kicks back the ball into the net and gives a score to the other team. Well, right on the shoulder here and staying on side. Oh, what an effort that is! A wonderful goal, Matthias! Imagine playing this in a very hot sun. There's gonna be, there's some games where they actually do that, and it's gotta be painful for these guys. Oh hell, what's that one place that uh, World Cup FIFA is gonna be playing at in like a couple years? It's like the most hottest place on earth. I don't even know the name because I never heard of it until they announced it. It's I forget. It's some country that's extremely boiling. I'm just wondering how the FIFA guys are gonna handle that. It's gonna be an inside stadium, because I highly doubt it's gonna be outside, because like they're all gonna die of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Ernesto Cristablo Cristaldo We're now at 11 10 more to go Oh, look at him go. He's, he's like tripping him over. All that way, man, dude. I love that, like how they're far away and there's one kick and it goes in. Lee Chomley. Finds Albert Adama, lovely ball back to Tomlin, left hand side the penalty, inside the penalty, it's still made on, Bamford, goal! Pretty good, though. that is really good. Matt Phillips. Strike up from the final one. Damn, all the way from back there. Oral ones from the corner are also excellent. When they have it, perfect timing. Those things are just amazing where they just kick in the air and hope to God that it goes in. Let's see this. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> really? Just a little kick from behind. I don't even know what the hell happened. And no one blocks it because they don't know what the fuck's going on. That is truly amazing, that one. No wonder it's that number one. Thanks for watching, my little whiz. Huh. Yeah, that is pretty good shit right there, man. Anytime you see this kind of stuff, watching football games, like the way to get them in, Pretty amazing. 
I don't know what else to say. Basically, it's just fun to watch like how they get it in. Sometimes, why is there an Amanda Cerny buying compilation in, in the middle of all these football things? But Amanda Cerny is also hot. Anyway, as I'm getting like distracted again by Amanda Cerny, what was I saying? Oh yeah, football shit. Man, the way they put him in, like some of, even, some of these guys are not even trying. Well, they're trying, but when they kick the ball and don't know where it's going to go and then it goes in, it's a pretty surprising. That's what I'm trying to say. Very hard work and all that. But anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Vivir así.